Okay, so today's project is going to be putting together the workbench. Just got it at Harbor Freight Tools. And if you're wondering if something five feet long like this will fit into a BMW i3, uh, the answer is yes, it will fit in there. Let's get her unpacked. So it's basically like I just went to Ikea. Man, it smells really good. All right, so uh, step one is insert connecting nuts eight into holes at the end of cross braces three. So you put back here, the back page, you know, cross brace is this piece with a a little slot cut in it right here. Uh, probably part number on it somewhere. Maybe not. Uh, and then uh, let's see. Nut eight is going to be uh, these right here. You know where the hole is because the slot at the top, so put it in there with the slot facing the way that you would want the hole to be. Kind of like when you turn a faucet on, you know? It's going to line up with it. Once again, get that connected on there before I let it go down in the hole. Which makes it a little bit easier, maybe. A little trickier this time because we've got the uh, the piece down there already on it, you know. Here we go. Easy as that. Second one in. See, now it's that's turned, so it's not going to work. Got to rotate it around. Uh, do you get it right? And you hear that uh, little electric screwdriver drag down there. That's when you know you're getting some purchase on it. So at this point, I've pretty much forgotten about the instructions. Uh, I don't even know where they are right offhand, but I'm going to presume that the next step uh, is going to be to put my shelf in, bottom shelf. That's the same on both sides. So just let it slide right down in there. And it's going to set right in that little uh, indention in the cross brace like that. And then the top piece, of course, is going to go right like that. And uh, put our screws in just like we did on the bottom. Okay, so uh, there's probably a couple of different ways you could do this next step, uh, but we already have it on its back here, so I'm just going to um, feed my driver on there and then feed this up from the bottom. There we go. Got my bit caught in there, but uh, obviously if you don't have one of these, uh, you need to get one because they're really cheap. They do a great job. They have a light built in here. They also have a light uh, built in down here. So, um, and it's convertible. You know, you can make it more like a screwdriver if you want. On a job like this, you can you can see the advantage to it and how much faster it, you can go with it. Okay, this side I was having a little more trouble getting it started so I went ahead and turned it up on its end here so I can uh, see a little bit how to get the uh, and how to feed this in there and you might also want to keep a, a magnet like this handy because uh, the holes for these screws fit into are pretty deep 
so you might need that little magnet just to help you uh, feed that out okay starting to look good here's one thing uh, you might want to keep in mind when you're choosing your cross braces this one has this label on it and uh, you can you can tell by you know the way the sliders work and by this little label here that this is going to be the front of the bench so uh, if you would rather that not show you would want to use this cross base on the back uh, with me not really too worried about it so I'm just going to continue on here okay so we're ready to put the top on and it recommends putting down some padding I'm just going to use this piece of uh, shipping material the styrofoam pad that came with it should be just about perfect and uh, this is a, a step that you could do by yourself but if you can call in a favor this might be a good time to do it flip it just like this So, got our uh, stand in place on the top there. Takes six bolts, and uh, just so happens that there's six screws in this package here. So, I think that's probably them. Okay, so those of you who've seen my videos probably recognize the neighborhood feral cat. She's had her nose pressed on the window up there all day wanting to get in here and see what was going on so she'll uh, just basically be a nuisance and uh, get in the way for the rest of the time here Oop, okay okay so I'm gonna continue using this uh, same T25 that I've been using all day I've already tightened the center one on the other end so I'm just gonna Tighten each end here. And then I'll go down there and tighten the other two. And come back and tighten this one in the center. Okay, next step is the center part for the draws. And um, just a couple of little dowels there that are going to line up with some holes right there. So, it's kind of tricky. I did it once. There we go. Make sure your front is matching your other fronts. And at this point, our screws, choices of screws getting pretty slim. We know it's not this. That's obviously something to do with the uh, hardware, like the drawers or the vise or something. So, I'm going to use these. And they just go right in these four little holes there on each side. All right, so I'm going to use this uh, long driver here to allow my drill to stay uh, at a better angle. And this wood's pretty soft, so not really any issues with that. I almost forgot about this little uh, crossbar here. Uh, fits right on the middle like this and you know where to put it on the ends here because there's pre-drilled holes there's not uh, receiver holes so you just kind of have to eyeball that and this is just a little piece of pressed wood I have a piece of oak that I think I'll probably replace that with but I'm just going to put it together like this for now to see how it works Well, I got it up here. I'm going to go ahead and put these felt pads on the uh, the bottom here, which will make it easier to slide around if I want to. If you were going to do woodworking or something on it, you wouldn't want it to slide around. But since I'm just going to be working on electronics, 
Uh, I'm going to put those on there also because the floor is kind of uneven and hopefully that will help it be a little more stable. They're just adhesive on the bottom. Okay, so we've got uh, what looks like a work table here. So now we have a nice place to build our draws. Uh, put the got the vise installed, and that's pretty much a a matter of just you know feeding the screw into the center hole there and making sure the other two line up. Uh, on the instructions, it showed a screw in the end of it, which I guess the point of that is to make it where you can't screw it out too far or something. Mine didn't have that. It also talked a little about putting this bracket right here on, uh, but mine was, on this kit, it was already installed. So it was basically just a matter of um, just feeding it in there. And as you can see, when you're not using it for a vise, you can use it to uh, store your drill in. So that worked out pretty good. So now we're ready to do our draws, and they're numbered. Um, you got P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 is the bottom. And these just fold up. Uh, these three go together first, and then you slide the drawer, and then the back one goes in. Um, just on this first one, to see how everything works, I'm just going to hit it with, uh, I'm just going to put it together with some brads. And, uh, and then if that works out pretty good, we'll, uh, we'll do the others. All right, so we got our first drawer in. Everything works great, reasonably smooth. Um, the, uh, the screws for, or the bolts for the handles are gonna be in with them. They won't be, so we don't get confused about that. They won't be with the, uh, the other screws and things. So, uh, one thing you might wanna keep in mind, they're a little tricky to push in there. You gotta work at it a little bit. If you decide to take them back out, there's a little locking mechanism over here, uh, like on most drawers, that you need to um, you'll need to engage before you can take it back out. Uh, and honestly, it's uh, sturdy enough with those with the just the brads in it. You could probably get away with that if you wanted. I'm going to come back and put some screws in it, and I may I may actually put glue on the other two just to make it extra strong. But actually, this feels pretty good. All right, so on this one, I didn't watch what I was doing, and I grabbed a P3 instead of a P4, so the hardware slider is on there backwards, and since I've stapled it, I don't want to have to bust it back apart. Although, I mean, they're just, they're brads, so... You know, I could probably actually grab it and just pull it apart. But I think it's easier. I'll just take the hardware off of a P4, put it on a P3, and it should be fine. Now that we know what we're doing, let's put some glue in there, ball. I think this is uh, left from when my daughter was a Girl Scout or something. And she's like 30 now, but just kind of goes against my grain to throw things away, you know. So now that I've seen everything uh, goes together right, I'm going to come back and 
add my screws in because we want these to be I don't need to be as strong as possible you know? uh, and So this was an in-store pickup item only, but they did not have one on display on the floor. So went up front to ask to check stock on it, and I knew they had it because it showed on the uh, on their website. And what you want to do in that situation is take that SKU number from their web page or from the catalog because that's what they go by. Um, we looked for a while for the five foot Windsor Deluxe work table and couldn't find it but she did find the uh, 60 inch Windsor Deluxe work table and I told her I thought that would work just fine so hopefully this was of some help to you and you'll subscribe to my channel or at least give me a thumbs up or say something in the comments thank you Alright, so there's always spare parts, and uh, these are the spare parts. Can't figure out where they go, so if anyone knows, feel free to leave it in the comments below, and hopefully I can go ahead and add those in later. If not, I guess I got some free uh, bolts and stuff. Okay, so at this point, uh, I'd like to go ahead and flip the table over. So that I could uh, actually use the top of it to, uh, you know, build the the draws and stuff. Uh, however, I guess we're gonna have to wait a little bit here. So a lot of people are probably saying, "Well, why didn't you just grab the cat and throw her off the, out of the way?" And I would if I had time to go uh, bandage the lacerations and stop the bleeding because. She's a uh, very ill-tempered cat. And when the tail starts to move like that, that's when you know... Oh, okay. All right. All right. 